Well, lots of people dream of doing something that could change the world. Today, we'll meet someone who's actually accomplishing that goal. Jenna Lee Nardella started the Blood Water Mission with Grammy -winning, Award winning Jars of Clay to provide clean water for people to drink in Africa. Well, what started with a dollar and a dream has turned into $25 million, a 1,000 wells, and water for over a million people. It's a remarkable story. Jenna tells her story in this new book. It's called A 1,000 Wells. I read it over the weekend. It's just such an inspiring story. Thanks so much for being with us Thank today. Thank you for having me, Meryl. So how did this start? Well, I was a 21-year-old with a big vision to change the world, and right. I cared a lot about the AIDS and water crisis in Africa. I met Jars of Clay as a college student and heard their vision for blood water, wrote them a 25-page proposal on how I thought they could start the organization and why they needed me to help them do it. Yeah. And so we started that about 11 years ago here in Nashville. Yeah, it is such a Nashville story, isn't it? You moved here after college. That's right. And, uh, you know, churches, organizations, interested people helped you grow this mission. Yeah, we only had a dollar really to start the organization with and so we just started asking um, for little support along the way and this Nashville community um, were the people who came alongside and said you know what I want to help um, towards this goal the original goal was 1,000 wells in Africa to provide a thousand communities in Africa with clean water and we just did it one person at a time and it really started here in Nashville one thing that I was really impressed by as I read the book was the way that you partnered with communities mm -hmm. in Africa um, rather than just sending checks or sending people to build wells and then leave. Uh, talk about the partnership that you formed with the communities in Africa. There are so many unintended consequences that happen with acts of charity when we just go over and do things for people. And there's so many better uh, results that come when you actually partner with a community, you have relationships with them and know what it is. They know their communities best. They know how to address poverty best. And we could come alongside and provide support. So we don't drill wells as us as Americans. We actually find great Africans who are doing great work around uh, the continent and fund them in what they're doing and build their capacity so they can be the heroes of their own story. Yeah, yeah, it's hard for us to understand that. Um, you know, it's it's very easy to write a check. Um, I mean, describe what's, you know, what do we need to know to do better uh, in, in our giving and in social justice? It's finding the groups and organizations that are already doing great work, that are connected in the community, that care about the long-term results of the health of, of a place, and trusting that and being able to say, are you guys going to be here for the long haul and be able to support support what's going on there. We want so many immediate changes to happen and redemption isn't something that happens very quickly. Right. We're seeing video now of what it was like for people in Africa that you encountered who would walk miles and miles to go to a well in order to get clean water. And not only was it just clean drinking water, but but you know, not having clean water was really impacting the health of those people there mm -hmm. with the HIV AIDS crisis. That's right. People who are HIV positive have very weak immune systems. So bad water is something that threatens their ability to survive. So if you have both a water crisis and an HIV crisis, it's very difficult to be able to thrive or flourish. And so these are the two areas where we've been able to really see change happen in a community. When a well or water is brought to one community, it means that women and children don't have to walk for water. It means that children are healthier, they're not suffering from diarrhea, babies are living past the age of five, which is normally their most vulnerable time. Yeah, you know, when we say in 11 years, you know, you've raised $25 million and all that. I mean, it's easy just to roll that off the tongue. It hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. And I started as an idealist as a 21 year old, and I've come across a lot of disappointments, a lot of obstacles, and I've had to learn that it's so much more about three steps forward, two steps back, and being faithful in it and staying with it even when you get disappointed. Yeah, definitely. Buying this book helps uh, raise money to build more wells. They want to help the next million people. Uh, so that they can have clean water as well. You can meet Jenna tonight at 615 at the Downtown Public Library to book signing for 1,000 Wells. There's a link for tickets and more information on our website at newschannel5.com. Go to bloodwater.org if you'd like to help.